Nigeria is not happy with Chidima. How? How? Didn't they say that a Peche and DA? What? Why are they saying now? No, she does not even sound like a Nigerian girl. Ah. Ah. Ngan am gela kumtu boya mi bom tabaka dad bom tabaka koko bom tabaka auntie bom tabaka sissy. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. Guys, I am coming to you from my home, away from home. You know by now, skin esteem medical aesthetics clinic. I was here yesterday. I was just here yesterday. They did my nails, okay? And then today, I was here to wax my bath equipment. Sana. Sana. What an experience. Luckily, luckily they made me feel so comfortable and chilled. I even forgot how I was not dressed and it was a lot going on, but a very enjoyable, painful experience. I can say, but yeah, now my bath equipment, smooth. Anyway, we are also hosting a yoga and trip session on the 31st of August. So please bring yourself, your friend, your aunt, your sister. Mamela, be comfortable. Come have fun with me. I'll be here welcoming you from the door to here, to your trip to your yoga session i'll be here throughout so please guys come through 15 days remaining 15 days left for our yoga and drip session so please get your tickets i've been posting about it on instagram and now i thought i'd bring it here over okay if we got a like out then come to skin esteem on 31st of august we cannot wait to see you here let's get into the video now chidima you remember um, she was supposed to compete in the Miss South Africa pageant, right? That didn't happen because South Africa was like, no. Okay. South Africa said no. Home Affairs came and put the final stamp on the no when they were like, the identity was obtained in a fraudulent manner. Ne? Mara, guys, above and beyond that, that means that someone's life was ruined okay someone's life was ruined for 23 years so let's also not just forget that important part yeah so because of that she could not compete for miss south africa then nigeria was like it's fine come and compete in the miss universe nigeria pageant she was like i accept in fact this is one of the best pageants in africa Okay, we as South Africans, South Africa, one thing about South Africans, wow, uh-uh. The guys, they said no to South Africa, but as soon as they heard Khuri, she's going to compete in another pageant. All the support. South Africa said flowers, flowers, roses, hamburger, sisiswami, compete, go and represent South Africa in Nigeria. South Africa to the world. Nigerians are now having videos, having opinions and thoughts. They're like, uh-uh. She's not proper Nigerian. She's not fully Nigerian. She's not this. She's not that. She's not um, qualified. She did not follow the steps the other contestants followed to be part of this pageant. So why is she competing in a Nigerian pageant when she does not even live in Nigeria? No, we don't want. How? Were you not the one? I'm just, you know, uh, when it, we were, yeah? Manje, because it's oh okay, yeah. So now Nigerians are having videos, they are having thoughts, Sana. They don't want. They say holy no, she cannot compete in the Miss Universe Nigeria because she may be of Nigerian descendants, but she's not a citizen there. She does not know much about them, she does not sound like them. They just have been like this girl has the thickest skin in the world, okay. She has the thickest skin in the world, okay? Because the bullying she's experienced through this whole pageant ordeal in the name of becoming the next Zosie. 
this is what she's experiencing so Chidima, I just think just go and be a supermodel my love don't leave the pageantry world just go be a supermodel oh social media is saying if Nigeria does not want you you can go enter Miss Mozambique universe Mina I'm just saying for your mental health just step down all around you are beautiful you can do so many other things you don't have to just be Miss something be a supermodel create your own pageant Miss Mixed something mixed something just you don't need this mental pain that you're going through ah what naman safuning away ah okay sabak yo can we officially close this topic please i thank you now you guys asked me management especially and whether i said i'm gonna come back with the stats you guys asked me how much um we made for the challenge you remember there was a everyday uh upload in july and the goal was to reach 1000 us dollars 1000 us dollars is like 18 grand 18000 rand something there we did the challenge we came we saw we conquered we never missed a day in fact in some days we uploaded more than once so we did very well for the challenge and we made about 1.270 dollars I think, yeah, so for the challenge, we did well, but it was very exhausting. It took such a toll on me because I had to wear a camera every, every day. It was, it was a lot for me. Um, but I, yeah, I just wanted to just take a step back. That's why I'm not uploading a lot in August because I wanted to take a step back, just recoup and just redirect, you know, because I was like, for this much effort, you know, I, I want to just see what I can do on my channel. So a lot of you have been advising me to work smart, not hard. Like have longer episodes because a lot of my management is saying my videos are short. So obviously I cannot place a lot of ads on short videos. So maybe if I bulk up, like bulk up the Ngozi, the Darby's, they maybe have like a podcast episode, like two episodes a week, but long form. You understand? Because I see even my watch time, it's not where I want it to be. But I'm feeling it's because I don't, I'm thingy. I don't have long enough episodes. And now you may be like, ah, Sims, man. We just want to see something different. So something different is coming. I'm working a very, very, I'm working very, very hard off camera this month. So that when I come back full time, when I come back to YouTube full time, you're going to see why I was gone. Ne? So guys, please bear with me. I will be uploading this month but but it's just gonna be like not as often right but when we are back we will be back fully to our full-time schedule but bigger better and brighter so yeah guys don't forget to get your tickets for the 31st of august here at skin esteem please if you like just to pamper yourself just that one time to pamper yourself come on it's a woman's month okay i cannot wait to see you and yeah man I will see you in person. I hope. Yeah. All right, guys. Goodbye. Earlier today, accepting the offer. Six days after she voluntarily exited herself from competing for the Miss South Africa pageantry. And I'm like, wow, this is very, very nice. Okay. Congratulations, my dear. You have been given the opportunity to come and compete for Miss Universe for Nigeria. But why, where have you been all this while? So if South Africa did not reject you, you wouldn't have remembered that you are a Nigerian, Abi. You are only coming to compete for Nigeria now. You are only coming to Nigeria.